This video provides an overview of how to schedule courses at Penn State. First, enter the Schedule of Courses address into your navigation bar, schedule.psu.edu. When the Schedule of Courses webpage opens, the first thing you should do is make sure that the semester is correct. Then make sure the campus is listed as University Park. Set the location to University Park Campus. If you are looking for a specific course or know the course abbreviation, look at Course Search Criteria. Select the discipline or the abbreviation in the drop-down box next to the course subject. In this example, we'll look for a political science course. Click Search Courses. In the title bar, you'll see the course abbreviation, the subject matter, and a number of credits. Below that is a short description of the course. Below that, you'll see a description of what type of requirement the course may satisfy. A link to the University Bulletin can be accessed by clicking More. Here you'll find a more in-depth description of the course. Any course prerequisites will be listed next. You can see that Political Science 110 has no prerequisites. However, if we look at Political Science 123, it does have a number of prerequisites. Make sure you have met the prerequisites for the courses you schedule. Next, we'll look at the table with all the pertinent information about the course. Going right to left, you'll see Course Material Information, which lists books and other course materials. A Notes section lists special criteria for taking the course. If you look at Political Science 83S, you should click on the word Controls to see what is required. Next, the beginning and end dates are listed. Instructor information, classroom location, meeting times, and seats remaining in the course. To get a better idea of how many seats truly remain in the course, click on the Refresh Seats button. In order to actually register for the class, write the schedule number on a trial schedule or highlight, right-click, and copy the schedule number. Next, you will input this number into Penn State's student information system, which is called eLine. Open a new tab and enter the eLine address into the navigation bar, eLine.psu.edu. Click on Students and enter your user ID and password. Click Log in. On the left-hand side of the eLine window, open the Schedule drop-down box. Here you can select Registration. First make sure you have chosen the correct semester, then click Continue. You'll re-enter your password and click OK. Next, type or paste the six-digit number you copied from the course schedule page into the first open slot. You can repeat this process to enter more courses. Then click Continue. You'll then be asked if you plan on scheduling 12 or more credits. That's full-time status. Then click Continue. At the top of the window, you will see a confirmation message if you have successfully scheduled a course. If you get an error message, it could mean that the class is either a controlled course or that the course is full. If the course is full, there will be additional information about alternate sections for that course. Now that you have registered for one course, you may wish to add another course. To do this, scroll down to Add a course. Enter a new six-digit number and click Add Course to Schedule. If you are interested in deleting one of the courses you registered for, click the radio button next to the course and click Drop Selected Course. Each time you make an adjustment to your registration, you'll get a confirmation message. This video is about the process of registration only. For detailed information about the courses appropriate for your academic plan, schedule an appointment with an advisor. We hope this has been helpful.